Welcome to Learning Django Web Development, brought to you by Pact Publishing. I'm Matthew Newsom, and I'll be guiding you through this course. I've been developing Python and Django applications professionally since 2009. I've created small apps used by just a few people, as well as huge apps for sites that serve millions. In this course, we'll get to learn Django by building a simple social media web application. This application will introduce you to many of the concepts you'll use when building real-world projects with Django. We're creating an application called Blather, which is a Twitter-like tool for sharing useless trivia, nonsensical facts, and ridiculous laws. This is a great project for learning Django because it will introduce us to how we store and manage data in the database, authenticate users, and help us learn some of the awesome time-saving tools Django makes available to us. It will also help us to look into some of the common problems developers experience after they pass the getting started phase. I'll show you how I've worked through these problems in the past to give you a head start as you take your own Django projects live. So what is Django? Django is a Python web development toolkit that gives you everything you need to quickly create advanced database websites. Sometimes, when I want to describe it quickly to semi-technical users, I'll say it's like Microsoft Access, but for websites. In fact, Django in many ways is better than Access because I've built apps that support thousands of simultaneous users, something I'd never attempt with Access. What can we do? Well, we simply describe our data using basic Python syntax, and immediately we get an admin interface for creating, reading, editing, and deleting records. It supports several popular relational databases, such as MySQL, Postgres, SQL Server. There are also add-on kits for other databases, including non-relational databases, such as MongoDB. Furthermore, we get a very sophisticated yet easy to use and familiar template system that allows us to create HTML, text, JSON, XML, and other formats of output. We also get flexible routing and, as I mentioned, convenience tools to help us create user-facing applications quickly. One of the most beloved features of Django is that, though it works in the typical Python fashion of batteries included, you're not bound to any of its built-in capabilities. You're welcome to swap out any pieces that you like, and indeed, there are many amazing add-on products the community has created. Convenience and flexibility, everything you love about Python, now in your web applications. In order to have success in this course, you should have an understanding of basic Python concepts, particularly dictionaries, classes, and how to require modules. In our next video, we'll get Django installed and start our project. Let's jump right in.